Welcome. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing of the Adventuring Party expansion for Clank. So Clank was originally a two to four player deck building adventure game in which you delve into a dungeon with a dragon and try to leave alive with as much treasure as possible. So this expansion is going to pick up on that. Now up to six players. So the Thieves Guild is recruiting. Clank Adventuring Party expands your mayor band to include up to six players in your dungeon run. Want a new thieving identity? Shuffle up as one of six unique characters, each with their own starting deck and special abilities. Lead trustworthy companions as a dwarf agnet, an elf, an orc, a mage, the primate power of a monkey bot prime, or stir up a pole full of trouble as a devious cat whiskers. But beware the ravenous hydra, Hexavoltus won't give up his treasures easily. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. This is a game for two to six players now, 60 to 120 minutes, ages 13 and up. So we've got our new rule book with components. So we're gonna have 35 dungeon deck cards, 12 reserve cards for each of the mercenary, explorer, and secret tome, two regular 10 card starting decks, and then our new six 10 card character starting decks and our new components. And this just eight pages here. So going over the new setup, party of five or six. Then talking about the react and arrive cards and our characters, going over the specifics of each of those. like got a flyer for some of their other games such as Bargain Quest, Clank in Space, another expansion, Mummy's Curse and Sunken Treasures, and Terror Below, a separate game. Our new character boards, so we've got Whiskers here, Special Abilities, Monkey Bot Prime, Gear Ignar, Lenora, Dallin, and Agnet. And if we're playing with five to six players, another bar for keeping track of our health. Some extra tokens, some monies and ones, fives and tens, some new artifacts, and secrets and bigger artifact treasures. So looking at those on the back. Punch out easily. Then we have our character tokens, along with another market board and some more money. Some more clink cubes. So we've got a gray and orange. Meeples for our new characters. So we've got our new boss marker. It looks like monkey bot. Agnet, our dwarf, our elf, orc, whiskers, and our mage. And then our cards. So before we get to the cards, one of the new tokens we have is a potion of stealth. We can use that on our turn to give us minus one clank and each of our opponents, plus one clank. Then we have an invisibility cloak. This allows you to ignore monsters in tunnels when you move. And everything else kind of works with the base game. So we've got our additional reserve cards, the mercenary, explore, and the secret tome. Then two normal starter Decks with our burgles, stumbles, sidestep, and scramble. And then for our new dungeon cards, we've got some new monsters. Uh, new ability is an arrived choice. When this comes out, everyone has to make an option. So when the leprechaun shows up, you either get two money and plus one clank or five money and plus three clank. 
Same thing for the Pixies, new arrivability. Each player who reveals a fight from their hand gets some money. Then just regular monsters. More arrived choices. Now in devices. And companions, these have react abilities. So on someone else's turn, when this ability happens, you can react. So you can play this card down, draw another card, then on your turn, you'll get the abilities of this card from the React. So it helps you boost your turn with an Assassin, Berserk, Cut Purse, a Rebel Herald, a Royal Brat, Spiritual Healer, Tactician, and another Burglar. Then one with everything, Scouting Ahead, And now we've got a time warp. Too bad for you. Walk it off. An elven satchel. Flawed emeralds, ruby, and a sapphire. Then we have our sorcerer. So during each of your turns, you may spend your mana to cast each of these spells once. So for three mana, transfigure, discard a card, then draw a card. Five, duplicate, copy a card in your play area. And seven, levitate, acquire a card, put it in your hand. So when you pick this character, you're gonna get 10 mana tokens, put that off to the side. And as you play cards, you'll be able to put that on your player card, acquire that, and then use these abilities. So she comes with a channel, which is gonna get you a token. If you take any secrets or use any potions this turn, you get an additional one. Mystic Slide as a React, teleport to an adjacent room. And you've got Study, Burgle, and then two Stumbles. So that's our Sorceress. Then we have our Dwarf. When you acquire a Companion, you may spend a Conscription token to put it on top of your deck. So when you start this, you're going to get four of those tokens. Then when you purchase a companion, you can spin this, put it back in the game box to put that card on top of your deck. And then her base cards. Defensive position. If you're in a crystal cave, you get to fight. Inspire. When ending this turn, you may put one companion on top of your deck instead of discarding it. Then we've got a Rebel Squire with a React. An opponent acquires the last remaining companion in the dungeon row. If you have another companion in your play area, draw a card. Then we've got our regular Burgles. And two Stumbles. Then we have our Monkey Bot Prime. So if you take any damage in a dragon attack, remove the leftmost Cogwheel token. Each turn you get every revealed reward. So as we take damage, we're gonna get additional rewards we can use on our turn, but unfortunately we have to get damaged in a dragon attack for that to happen. So the base cards, he's got Bolt for each artifact you have, plus one clank and two money. Persist as a react, there's a dragon attack in which you take damage, you heal and plus one clank. Primacy, if you have a monkey idol, you don't have to stop in crystal caves this turn. Then we have our burgle cards and stumbles. Then we have our elf. So place your first find of each type above, and that's gonna allow you to get special abilities with some of your cards. So minus two clank, trash a burgle from your play area or discard pile. Don't have to stop in the Crystal Caves this turn, and you may buy from the market this turn. So in our collection, as a React, an opponent acquires a type of find you don't have, gives you money and plus one for each type of find you do have. Competition, opponent acquires a type of find you don't have, choose one of your finds and gain its corresponding reward. And then Exhibit, an opponent acquires a type of find you don't have. Choose one of your finds to gain its reward. Then our burgles. 
and stumbles. Then for our orc, his ability is the first time you defeat a monster card each turn, including the goblin, advance the carnage token and choose a reward shown. So it's gonna start on this one. If we go over here, we're either getting money or some training. So we get to choose one of the two, so it's gonna keep going around. And that's gonna be our bonus for fighting monster cards. So his cards, he's got Ransack as a react. An opponent defeats the last remaining monster in the dungeon row. Scavenge for each monster in a tunnel. You defeat this turn, you get a money. Wallop, then Burgles, and his Stumbles. Then lastly, we have Whiskers. So when you end your turn with all three behavior tokens face down, flip them face up and ex execute a four cube dragon attack, returning cubes pulled of your color to your supply. So cards in our deck are gonna allow us to flip these to get those bonuses. So we've got Catitude, flip a behavior token face down and gain this reward. Pussyfoot as a react, there is a dragon attack in which you take no damage. Ignore monsters and tunnels this turn. Saunter, flip a behavior token face down, gain its reward. If you have an artifact, double that token's reward. Then we have our burgle cards and two stumbles. So that's all the components. Just some observations made here. So this is from the original set. So there's slight color difference on these. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but this is a little darker, shinier purple. Then the Minor Secrets, this is from the original. So there's a slight color difference there. So I don't know if you'll wanna put these in a bag because they won't go on the board when you play with five to six players. And then the cards themselves. This is from the original and the new set. There's a slight color difference on this also. So just an FYI there. And that is everything in the Clank Adventuring Party expansion. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.